Welcome, 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 welcome to the live stream, everybody. What's up, everybody? What's going we got all on? kind of folks in there. What's going on? We got a panel full of goodness and a chat full of craziness. What's up? What's up, Fungus Queen? E Reptile. Michaela. Monstars. Got a bunch of folks in here. Heck yeah. Welcome, 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 everybody. Kara's here, everybody. Yeah, exactly. It should have been running the intro 15 minutes ago. <laughs> well, you know how we are. <laughs> no, you got to be a little bit late. You got to have some suspense. What's up, PCF? The show and stuff, you know. Good to it's see you. It's all about the suspense. Kara Shea. We have some really good backstage conversation going. There's there's welcome to the live stream. Usually there's better conversation in the up, back Rob? than in the front, you know. Everybody gets nervous from the front, you know. Oh, yeah. I know. We can go. We well, that's like Lefty. We'll set up streams and they start, you know, talking in the back room. Sometimes he don't even go live. They just sit there, you yeah. know, in the backstage and, and party the whole night, you know. And it's like we got people in the chat. Like yeah, that's funny. Yeah. That's why a few streams there. We'll stay backstage for at least an hour or so before we start the uh, after show live. Oh yeah, what's up, Stan? Damn. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. welcome. Hello, Got the people blue. rolling in. Smack that thumbs up as you come in. It does help the stream. Thank you very much. Or the dislike doesn't even matter. Go ahead. Just click whatever one. And, and, and if you don't know, they do run a, a live stream themselves. And uh, you can catch them on Tuesdays. Yes, it's Tuesday, what, 8 o'clock? Yep. Your time, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Yep. 8, 8 o'clock Central. It, it, if you watch their Central Mountain. their regular live stream at eight, it's it's pretty family safe. But they're late night. You know, it's it's not too safe. You might see a wiener or two pop up on there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's up, Heather? If you was welcome, on welcome, with the welcome, last night, you seen a wiener. Yep. Unfortunately, <laughs> if I can remember on Tuesday, if I, when when we end my show, I'll remember to say something about your guys is coming. All right. Up. What's up, Benham? Heck yeah. Welcome, welcome, Appreciate welcome. It. Yeah, because I do a show from five to seven my time. So on Tuesday with my wife. Oh, nice. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. That's cool. You know, yeah. I thought I'd seen it. I was like, I I've been there like a couple times, but you obviously you know how it goes. Whenever you're trying to get like your stream and you're having a guest and stuff, you're like trying to prepare and stuff. So it's like, oh, yeah. Because I, I always wait till last minute. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Shane and I are game planning like two hours before we go live. Yeah, I mean, we try to get some information throughout the week, but usually uh, the people that we're having on and stuff, you know, we, we, we know them for the most part. So. Oh, yeah, for well, sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, just the reptile hobby in general, you could just talk about all day, you know, so it's like. Absolutely. Yeah. I thought well, last night's episode with Chris, we could have went all night. Like, I could have picked that guy's brain for hours. Is that the uh, show where you had the extra snakes? What's up, Tammy? <laughs> no. Well, actually, he did come in on that one, too. But that was the late, late night one, the the regular one. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, we go and, and question him about uh, all types of stuff, actually. That one got, right. got kind of financial on it. That one was, I enjoyed that. Because I don't see too often of people talking more on the financial side of once you create these animals – uh, like, what do you do as far well, as yeah? But the, the financial side was the taboo stuff. side forever. You couldn't talk about that. It's like right. it's not right. for the money. It's, it's not for money. We're just doing this all for the love, you know. Yeah. And if you yeah. don't know, but it, it did it, help, like, to get an idea on what uh what you would want to do if you were trying to structure it as yeah. a business. He helped with like you know LLC taxes, filing this, filing that, and that you know your inventory counts as a tax right off. There was there was a bunch of stuff in there that was like, nice. oh man, that really helped. Like because yep. I I was scared to you know really start making money because you know nobody wants to make money and have the tax man come take everything. So it's like well. That was the, that was my theory with the name of my channel with the whole my animal house, you know, because after a while, right. if you do actually make enough money, I could write off all kind of shit because there's so yeah. much of the house that's intertwined with the channel. I mean, the dogs, Absolutely. the cats, the fish, the the animal, everything. I got to have the house to keep the animals. So it's like yeah. everything will revolve later on, you know, you so many tax write offs as far as because it's all 
it's all for the house, you know. I mean, I gotta have yeah. the house to have the animals, you know, kind of thing. So exactly. it all exactly everything and is that was the reason why I went that route with the name and that kind of thing. If y'all don't know, Tamara yeah. Tamara is Shane's new fiance. He just asked her to get married yeah. the other day. Yeah. And right. she said yes. Right. So congrats, congrats. I think yeah, he right. was a little shocked, but I mean she did say yes. So I mean it's right. a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, I was pretty shocked too. <laughs> I guess before I guess before oh, we get started, I, I, got, I, I got some news I want to share with everybody um, about my my doctor. You know what I've been going through medically. You know, uh, talked to my doctor today, and as of today, I am cancer free. Woo! Yeah, it's amazing. As of today, we yeah, talked that. about it backstage a little bit, and it was like he, he he told me and the wife. I was like, "Holy shit!" You know, it's like that's so, amazing. Just got the news today, so that's great. Yeah, I mean, that's... you know, and even like when I went through a bunch of my surgeries and shit, and you know, I was like, "Hey, doc, why can I do this?" She said I was never going to do this, you know, and he, and he is what he looked at me, told me, "Is all the human body is an amazing thing." I, I mean, no answer. He just says the human body is an amazing thing, so it's like. Who knows? That's like even when I went to the hospital, you quit smoking weed. Do you need help quit smoking weed? It's like, no, I'm not gonna quit smoking weed. As soon as I leave here, I'm gonna smoke some more. Yeah. It's like, how do I know what I'm not curing? Thank you, thank you. Hey Micah, what's going on? Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Yeah. Micah, welcome, I mean, welcome. I still gotta go through some some tests, but I mean, right now I'm pretty good, you know. Well, that's so. just old normal old people stuff yep. right there. Yeah, well, yeah, just get my thyroid checked, maybe take a pill, but other than that, I'm you know, as of right now, so that's you know. They're not wanting to stick a four by four. I, out I actually yet. actually didn't no. find out till late this afternoon, Rob, and and then it's been a madhouse ever since then. So because I would have given you a call for sure, right? Because I, I was know, supposed to meet with him about ten minutes ago. 20 yeah, minutes I was, ago, I was ago, supposed yeah. to go to I was supposed to go to the doctor today, and then we was I was going and and then there was an accident. And I got caught up in traffic. I couldn't make it, so I waited. Had to wait till sure, like, called was me traffic. later. On. Oh, dude, it was bad. There was a semi was turned the over. Peaking pools, you know he was. Shit. <laughs> Not around here. You ain't got no peaking pools over there. Yeah, so hopefully, you know, I'm maybe sure the maybe the maybe this year be a better year for me and Justin. <laughs> it's already started out good. Yeah, that's already good news yeah. for both of us. Yeah, yeah like, right. Yeah, that's, can't start out much better that than that. Start to the year, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, we both had a the rough, rough, rough last year. It was like shit. Yeah, Definitely need some better news for this year, and that that helped start it off. Oh, good, uh, sure. what I what I said, Ozak, is I'm cancer free of today. 2017 was my year of of medical just craziness. Craziness, yeah. Fuck. I had like I made an egg sized kidney stone and it took like twelve lithotripsies to get it out. And then I decided to try to get my ankle and my shoulder fixed amongst all that. So it was like fifteen hey. surgeries in eighteen months. It sounds good, Ben, but I'm afraid it might catch something. <laughs> we ain't going behind the QT, are we? <laughs> oh, you know you're gonna go for the lot lizards with Ben. Shit, yeah. he'll probably buy you one. <laughs> lot lizards on him on the first one. It's your birthday. And shit. <laughs> Nine oh five. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nine oh five. He's that's a good dude there. Yep. He's been coming in a lot of the chat, so for sure. Yep. And I I got a lot to thank with the FMA on. I think help making that happen. You know, shooting me. You know, a bunch of oil and RSO oil to take and. Because nothing had changed, and then I did twelve weeks of that, and then it seemed like everything started changing. So I, I, I know I got a little bit of that shit. I just do like a little, like a little rice size piece, and that shit's all over the place. It's all over my fingers. I, I don't know how in the hell you were doing like spoonfuls of that shit. Well, you <laughs> could a lot of. Well, I was doing a gram of it at a time, but you could, you can actually get like them empty pill, you know. Oh, and, and then put, put them in, in there, the and then just pop the pill. I know how What's a really up, good recipe strike? to you put doing, those Troy? in the gummy bears. To make gummy welcome bears welcome. out of the RSOs. Yeah. Yeah, because it was like, when I first tried it, it was like, what the hell? And, you know, it's, it's just got everywhere. It didn't matter what I did. <laughs> it was like, fucking shit. You just got to make sure you temper that stuff right. Yep, exactly. Right there. There's the people. Like, Gel capsules. Thank you. Fred Nature, Fred, AJ was talking about us, uh, this situation one day backstage. And, up, yeah, Lex? there's... AJ is a good dude. Yeah. 
Hey, Lax, that's my daughter. Hey, I'm telling you, Welcome Stan, up. if I can do it, she can do it. And, you know, that's uh, to me, it helped, dude. And I'm hoping it, and pray that it helps your wife. So, right. What's up, Mitzi? You know, even if even if it ended up not helping, if it makes you feel good during that situation, that alone is worth it. Right. What's up, John with no H? Welcome, welcome. John. What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, uh, Rob, he has. No he H. has reached out to, to they have they booked him up welcome, too. Welcome, welcome. What's up, Kraft? So I thought it was cool the note yeah, that you said good, was buddy. with it. When you got yours or whatever, it said if this box is opened, you know. Yeah, he when they that sent was, it to me, they sent awesome. me, you cool. know, like sixty grams of it or whatever already in syringes, you know, and it's like it's all in the mylar and it says on there, if you open, like at the post office because if, if they opened it, it says, uh, please go ahead and deliver it. It's for a cancer patient. <laughs> That's what they wrote on it, you know, even though you know they supposed to. Do it. That's Hell funny. Yeah. Oh, Zach with a twenty dollar bag. Appreciate it, Jessica. Thank, Thank you so much, I'm Zach. And the message is hell fucking yeah. No more. Oh, no, yeah. no, you get limited ads on this one for sure. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Justin, for reading it out loud. Now you got me. Literally. I wanted to read it out Hi, loud. Hi, Rob, just man. So it, uh, so it could happen for you. All right. He's back at the. There it is. There's the people right this there that I welcome, have welcome. to thank. I have to thank for. Have you taught? Have, have you told them? No. I, I, you, Tell them now. No. F and A. I am cancer free of today because of you guys. I'm telling you. Even if they say Those something guys else, it's because are needed in this community, like for numerous reasons. Yeah. Oh, they're they're awesome people, dude. Yes, I mean, they are. I, I'm, I'm glad to be their friends. I'm honored to be their friend. It, it, well, it's 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 awesome too that we're in a time where it's finally being accepted enough to where people can do stuff like this and get it out there. You know, it's yeah. Like, right. You don't have to fucking hide behind the dumpster anymore to smoke a joint or, you know, get some, like, to help a cancer patient, shit like that. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know? It's all because of you guys. I'm telling you. I, I strongly believe that. So You need me to read you know. that one out loud to you? Yeah, go, well, you already got me it's demonetized. Our... You might as well say it. <laughs> We're only joking because they, they, they're supposed to have changed the... the yes, the, not a five. That's what I said. The live What's up, Kit Kat? You can get in trouble for even saying hell or damn, I guess. Yeah, in the on first YouTube now. In the first seconds of your stream. Well, and then, they said it's it, it's, it's weird. It says, it, they Eric, said, Eric, welcome, welcome. Kit it, Kat, it welcome. doesn't matter on the cuss word anymore. It could be hell and they could demonetize welcome, you for welcome. that word or damn. It's weird. You know, they're what getting strict. Dang? Is dang one of them? Oh, if they're going to write you up for dang, then nobody's going to be on. No. <laughs> I say, because I'm it's like, down. I really just just down. To, Say dang more than damn, you know. No, but, yeah, but I don't know. What but it's still it, it's really still weird. not clear is if I don't how, think you, this how many times you can say it, long, when you can say really it, know. say it. If it's so, you know, it's still one of them deals. Yeah. You might be able to say it and get away with it. You might not be able to say it. it you know, it's it used it's to all be the like it shit, was. It know? depended on how you said the word in context. Like if you're just said a, a cuss word, you know, just as you're speaking, it was no big deal. But if you were ranting and raving cat. and bitching about something and you were cussing, that's where they would it would be the vibe. Congratulations, you know? happy birthday, right, Kit Kat. Right. But now it's happy supposed birthday. to be all controlled just Kit by Kat. you know, happy birthday. We don't have a live stream tomorrow. So we'll say happy birthday tonight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Context is no longer important. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's weird. So I don't and we know need to get we need it. to get Lecky to go ahead and start a bong song here too. Yeah. And, and the bad thing it, it's it this is you know people don't realize that YouTube is not meant for younger people. I mean it's right. it, no even even at the it's, so it's ages it's thirteen and above. You can't treat it like they, there's five year olds on a on a you know platform that adults are on. If that's right. why there's YouTube kids, I think they should get age to like fifteen. Leave the kids as YouTube alone and leave us alone over here. Yeah, on this side. Right. You know, right. Celtic balls. Welcome, welcome. Jeff and Angie, they're good peeps too. I'm getting old with all the mortality, please. Yeah, it's just YouTube. Another way to. Is you know, I mean, show? no, not really. But YouTube it's just, just another one of their policies to be able to say, hey, uh, we can demonetize you and, and still run ads and not pay you for it. I mean, but right, they're not right. quite as bad yeah. as like TikTok and them because TikTok can just take your whole account and they could owe you a couple hundred dollars. And, well, I mean, YouTube too good, but I mean, TikTok will take you 
They took mine. Well, they'll, they'll still just do whatever. 29,000 subscribers, 20 million views, yeah. and I didn't even get an email. They just shut me down. Shut you down. That's rude. Took my money, didn't cash me out, nothing. Not Shane, nothing. did you see the picture you ride the dino? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Thanks, that <Nato> five. <laughs> Hell uh, yeah. Hey, I, I'm picturing AJ cool doing outfit. a happy dance. <laughs> oh, I got yeah. a cool outfit. He looks like a like a Jedi or something or like a Sith. I was like, sweet, Star Wars, cool. And that's the thing, if you it, like ours is marked for adults, but if you mark it for like what is it, eighteen or older no, yeah, or if you what's the other one? Specifically mark it for eighteen and older, they treat it or just like if it's meant for kids, they, they'll it's limited ads. They will not get they will not they'll only give you they might not even give you no ads, you know. No, they'll just, they won't even monetize the video. Mm -hmm. That's what's so weird. That's that's the thing. This is not a kid's platform. It's like and right. even you know, even if that's the case, up the age and leave us alone. You know, it's just dumb. Five dollars. Thank, thank you, Kit Kat. Kit What's Kat. up, Eric? Uh, thank you, Kit Kat. Having these guys out. Eric, welcome. So you weren't even thank here. You. I put you in the intro, and then you're not even here to watch it. It really hurts my feelings, Eric. Right, right. <laughs> Luke, welcome, welcome. What's going on, Luke? So you guys said it's All like right, a Rob. good a time for, you know, the marijuana, like we're living in a good time for that. And uh, for me, what I see just in this community, like I see more togetherness than it has been because you hear a lot of horror stories about the way this ball python trade used to be. And oh, yeah. it's like, you don't see much of that now. Like, I mean, people, people don't realize how, I mean, when I, I first came into this three years ago and there was, it was like, it was like I almost even talked about shit that that people were looking at like you're not supposed to talk about that kind of stuff. And it was like, what do right. you mean? It's like I want to learn from other people. I want to make a video. And if I fuck up in the video, I want somebody in the comments to tell me how to do it right. That that's why I used to make videos. That was my train of thought. It was like I can make the video, maybe help somebody and maybe help myself by other, you know, people in the comments in, you know, engaging in the video. It was like that was the whole point. And you, back in you know back in the day you weren't supposed to do that though you, you can't help nobody exactly. you're not, you know i'm all about healthy animals i don't give a shit about the rest of it just as long as the animals right. are healthy i don't care you know so, well okay down did you but, hear about that yeah, in yeah. germany a guy lost all of his animals because they 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 come in and seen his snakes in a rack system racks are now banned in germany and they took his wow. animals because they were in racks what Yep. There are people that are so against racks. That I didn't, you know, I realize yeah, that it is, but some of the people you hear, it's like, Jesus, man, do you really believe that much bullshit? It's like they're like happier yeah, in the racks. Well, yeah, it's like right. they live in racks. Around, I like around racks in Africa, you know, it's like when I, I mean, first got these things, I was keeping them in like plastic coats, you know, clear plastic coats in aquariums. And, you know, Shane had racks and he was like, man, you, you need to change over. So I built my own racking system and the feeding yeah. response I got from these snakes from just putting them in privacy was so much better. Well, yeah, they like, live in a hole in them. Africa, you know, I mean, you right. know, yeah. you, you, if you put them on display, that's where they're not comfortable. You know, it's like, exactly. it's like put them on display, but put so much shit in their tank. You can't even see them. It's like, okay. Right. What's the sense? That makes What's sense. What's the sense of it? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's weird, but I mean, that's, you know, I mean, each country is going to have their own law, and each, you know, even here, that's the thing. Just because, like, yeah. I can keep venomous or ball pythons in Oklahoma, I might Don't not be able to keep them it. in Tulsa County or, you know, or this city, you know. Right. you got to look well, at where you live, ads, you know. Right? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So you got to look at where you live at to make sure so you know your local and county laws. In Oklahoma? Well, it's anywhere. There's people that get in trouble because they didn't know the city laws that they live in. Yeah. Just because you can say, hey, you can keep anything in Pennsylvania, that city might say, no, we don't allow ball pythons. If you don't know that, they can come and take your shit. Yep. You always got to look at your, your city and local laws. Where well, that's you live like at. African software rats. It's like you, you could be one county over and you ain't supposed to have those things. Yep. You know, it's you crazy. That's, that. I mean, it's we've weird. heard of people get in trouble for that many times. Timothy, welcome, welcome. Yeah, crazy. Yep, exactly. 
I, I mean, well, okay, I mean, so hiding we're... hiding some shit in your collection is one thing, but like being rude enough yeah. to like n never want to share any information and weird shit is where it's crazy. Yeah, um, I get yeah, to have a secret project. I mean, I get oh, that. Yeah. I mean, see, I personally, so there, not yeah, there's too, a I'm not going to knock someone that does. The only bad thing is, so, is when somebody has that secret project that they know nothing about and they make all these babies and send it off with, it's this, this, and this, and maybe this. Yeah, I mean, look at New York City. You're not supposed to have any ball pythons or shit in New York City. How many people do you think do? Right. Right. I mean, I mean yeah, I mean, at it's... But, more than two. But, you know, that's that's the difference is... I think well, that, when people get in trouble, they go out and start... Oh, let's go outside and let's do this. Let's show everybody what we got. And, yeah. you know, sometimes that, I mean, yeah. some people are, we know them get in trouble because you're only allowed to keep 15 snakes and they got 20 or 25. So now right. you've got to get rid of them. I mean, it's weird. That's why you well, got to check like in even, this stuff. You know, yeah. Never mind. Hey, yeah, everybody I mean, moved to Texas. Everybody moved to Texas? Yeah. We're good. We got everything. <laughs> We're good. No, Oklahoma's PA's better than Texas. Pretty good. I, I don't hear any laws about PA. Oklahoma's well, way better than Texas. We got to have the permits too. like you guys got to have in Texas for bigger snakes. And you can get married. We don't get in trouble for marijuana in Oklahoma like y'all do. That's true. Dude, once once that gets switched, then then it's the place to be. I don't know. I think but Texas is going to. I thought Texas person. and New York would be last, but New York's legal now, too. It's only Pennsylvania, one the, Pennsylvania is close to doing recreational, and what New Hampshire just passed it January 10th recreational. Yep. Yeah, PA's coming. All right, so if you're in a, hey, if you're in Austin, like Austin, you can absolutely smoke anywhere, and nobody will ever say anything to you. Uh, but you know, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, no, nah, yeah. nah, you're not doing that there. And see, Texas is another state you have to check out your local laws. I know people who's got in trouble with having snakes and didn't know, even though Texas allows them, they've lived in city and right. in, in counties and they've gotten trouble over it. So you have to check your laws in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. I could see um, them having um, a law like that in like, like state HOA college, is the borough of state college, but not where I live. I'm out in the woods. Plus, Texas like is part HOA of the. Too. Plus, Texas but, is part of the little division of Florida where they come to that deal. So if they start banning stuff in Florida, it hits like Georgia. It'll hit Texas. You're all in that little group right there, that region. A lot of right, people right, don't know that, too. To too cold in Canada. Wildlife. Yeah. Um, it's funny, though, because, like, takus are technically illegal, but, I mean... You can get a takeu at any reptile show, no matter what. Right. No problem. Well, you so. can go to you can go to Conroe and pick up a taipan if you want to there too. You know, I mean rattlesnakes, yeah. anything you want. Yeah, I've seen Absolutely. them there for sale. Yeah, I mean, all of my local reptile shows have venomous snakes for sure. I um, mean, can you imagine going to show and picking up a taipan, the deadliest fucking snake there is? I still know? think that's just ridiculous. That's you know, some of them snakes you shouldn't just be able to roll out and just get. I mean, I think it's funny that how people they have these rattlesnakes and stuff in, in Dixie cups. Oh yeah, yeah. but the bad I mean, thing is, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no vetting people to see if they should have it. They're just looking for a sale on the venomous. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, it's not even like, hey, do you know how to take it? Or, hey, you want to pay for it? Here you go. They don't even care. They don't I mean, care. That's where but, people get, you know, it's like, whoa, you know. Yeah. And, and and I was actually going to mention, like, I feel like that's where it, it kind of starts to fall on the breeder of like, hey, man, what's more important, the money or the animal? Because it's like, you know, you can push these things, but that animal is probably going to end up getting put down, you know, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah too many people. Are, I mean, yeah, we, we breed to make money, but you also want to make sure that you know your animal's going to a good and healthy place, exactly. you know what I mean? And not but, somebody, you know. But you that's know. the thing, though. But it's, it's hard to make really good money and to be able to do that at the same time. I agree, time. Eric. That's the more true. snakes you sell, the harder and harder it is to know where they're all yeah. going. It's like... Right. Yeah. It should be... You should have a test to take. and Because, I mean, you don't... You know, when people start coming up, hey, what do I need for a ball of python? And people still sell it to them. 
No, right. you should already have that set up before I even sell you this snake. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't care about a new keeper. Yeah, you can be a new keeper, but let's get the basics and then worry about the animal. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. but you know the first one always goes the wrong way. You get the animal first. You're struggling mm -hmm. to get some shit for it. No, I don't think I heard about That's Operation true. Viper in Florida. True. Yeah. You're like, I'll figure it out. And it, uh, you know, you go through a learning curve. Uh, That's what, yeah, it always starts that better. way. I'll, I'll just put it yeah. in this toad. It'll be fine. Right. Yep. Right. That's what I did. And that, hey, I still talk about those, <laughs> yeah. those stupid heat rocks that everybody hated back in the day. If somebody would have just put a fucking thermostat on them, they'd be fine. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, nobody ever put a thermostat yeah. on them back in the day. It was like, these things will burn down your house. Well, yeah, because you didn't have a thermostat on it. And you had wood chips that's getting dried out right near it. Right. Like, you know what I mean? It was like if anybody would have put a thermostat on those back in the, the day, they, you know, they'd be right. popular today. Those, uh, they would be popular today. Yep. I do know keepers that still use them. There's venomous keepers that still use them, but still. Yeah, no, everybody, they got a really bad rap because nobody ever put a thermostat on them, you know? It's like. It's like if you use that was common with, sense to me. Yeah, if you use heat tape without a fucking like thermostat, it's gonna do the same shit as that heat rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Like well, I mean, and, and, but you know, but you know, back in the day, people used to heat their goddamn plywood enclosures up for with Christmas lights. You know, I mean, you're talking 30 years ago. They did nobody know no better. You couldn't. There's no way you go to pet store and they give you any information at all. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? back in the day, None. you were at the mercy of the You pesters. learned you only, everything. You only took care of your animals how the dumbass behind the counter told you how back in the yep. day because we didn't have no If group. he even told you. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it was a normal. That's all you got was a normal. Yeah. I remember when Bob Clark brought the albino Burmese and retic in, dude. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, I remember them days. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you got an albino or Burmese or retic, you probably come from pop. him. Hell yeah. You know, some strain down the lineage, you know. It's crazy, you know. I wish I would have gotten into this sooner. That's my only regret. <laughs> well, see, that was the thing. I got back into it. Like, I always had animals back in the day, with, like in the back in the day in the old bad pet store days where you just kind of kept shit then. But when I got back into it and I was like, well, shit, there's not just normals. It's like, where'd all these snakes come from? And then, you know, you you dive deep. You wouldn't want to get happens. into it 20 yeah, years ago, Ken. You're looking at yeah. a spider or whatever banana for twenty thousand. You're thinking, God damn! You think yeah, snakes are now? Even I mean, know they existed well, back then, six seven right. years ago. I mean, you know, yeah, exactly. Mid but I mean, I remember like when we when got our money. first ball python. It was probably fifteen years ago. Um, it was my brother and I had gotten one for each of us, you know, and we were like, cool. And somebody was talking about a spider, and I was like. A spider? No, I like snakes, man. I want a snake. And they're like, yeah. no, it's a demon. And I was like, well, that's stupid. Why would you name a, a snake a spider? <laughs> so, yeah, that's stupid. But, that? <laughs> right. <laughs> I literally like nice. that was the first thing I thought. But then like uh they were like, oh, it's like twenty thousand dollars or something. Like there was just this crazy number, and it was just like a myth at that time, you know, like yeah, nobody yeah. had seen one around Ranging us. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um and we we did not keep our ball pythons correct. I will tell you that. We did, you know, like looking oh, back, yeah, I'm back like, in oh, the day wow. we didn't yeah, it's way different, you know. No, you yeah, have, yeah. You know, yeah. Had it. Even like feeding habits, all that shit. Back in the day, it was like, when should I feed it? I don't yeah. know, whenever it's hungry. It's okay, you know. Mm -hmm. it's like, you know, now it's like weekly and shit. I, you feed them constantly. It's like n I never fed my snake. Back I think everybody day. wanted to overfeed back in the day because they wanted to, that was what they wanted to watch is right. something to eat, you know? Right. I remember yeah, we think about it. Have it watch too, so that wasn't cool. <laughs> that didn't work out well. There was a lot more mom and pop shops around then back in the day, too. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah, you could go to a city and there'd be five or six pet stores you can go choose from. Now you know it's Petco, PetSmart, maybe a mom or pop shop here or there. You know. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing is, like, so for me, I got five minute drive, ten minute drive to all these big box stores, but it's like a half an hour to the nearest actual like mom and pop pet store for me to get any direction. Like, yeah, I'm about no ten minutes from a local mom and pop shop. So yeah. 
Well, that's the bad thing is, is that the goddamn box stores got them whipped so bad they got to overprice shit to try to stay with them. It's like, and then it just yeah. hurts the keepers, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do have to say, though, the store by me, Polly's Pets, they put a lot of money into being able to, like, display their pets and being able to, or, you know, display the animals and being able to interact with them and stuff. It, it's actually, like, cool to be there. Like, just nice. not even buying stuff. You're just like, oh, cool. I get to go and hold a bird for an hour. You know, big old parrot or a toucan. But no, I don't cool. like birds. Good. That's all you. Dude, they're sketchy as shit, man. I, I like know. It. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you're dealing with damn birds, they'll take off your finger. It's like, fuck that. Yeah. yeah. That thing, that can, anything it bites. I'd take a chunk off my finger. You know? I'm, not, I'm not giving them another opportunity. That's what I was telling them backstage. I just found out that in Tulsa, we have an oxalot or whatever them things are called stored. That's all they deal with. And, you know, there anything you, you need for them and sell them or any setups, that's all they deal in. That's crazy. They're working on getting new morphs of those. There's a couple out there that are pretty cool, but nothing that's high dollar right now. But right. I, I think it's coming. It's coming. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. After what people have done with the animals now, it's like any animal, there's possibility of craziness anymore. It's like you just got to dig right. deep enough. I'll so those things it. are actually like almost completely extinct in the wild. Like the only ones that are left are, for the most part, captive. captive right? Or there are, I think somebody started a colony in Asia or something. Maybe. I think I see yeah. a video of that. But they're originally in like this like mountain town of Mexico and I guess like uh, population and pollution and you know overfishing. Well that's what's weird about like bettas and shit. They always got them in the bowls of fucking water. They live in streams. Right. They should yeah. be in running fucking water not in a little bowl. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's so yeah. weird mm -hmm. why they keep them in bowls. They live in little creeks Absolutely. and shit. It's weird. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, because they're anywhere in any city. You'll see a Petco, a Pet Smart, and then there's what? Pet Land. Just they sell a lot of dogs and stuff. They really don't sell yeah. too many uh, reptiles, but. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, my local Pet Smart, I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this, but my local Pet Smart, I signed up for a list to where if they get anybody that doesn't want their. Uh, animal anymore or can't take care of it or you know if they have an animal that won't eat frozen dog they have to adopt it out they can't sell it yeah. so like anytime they get right. a ball python that won't eat frozen thawed i get it um which is pretty cool because it's free so yeah I mean, yeah hey, sign up for that well he's got some that of them male he's smart. got That's now i think it's that for some yeah That's crazy, Eric. Usually they're a little well, bit that, cheaper, but I mean, like ours. Well, no, are, I, mean, I was just talking about that. They they have to sell, you know, they have to mark shit up so much to try to fight with the box stores and trying to right. just stay alive because there's no room for mom and pop. Nothing. Anymore. Well, what's good with our mom and pop store is they also they also vend at, at reptile shows, so they'd be gone on the weekend. You know, there'd be a, a yeah. just somebody watching right, the store. Right. They might be in Texas or they might be in. Yeah. Kansas or wherever, so they're bending too, and then they're picking up new stuff and selling. So they're really like reptile breeders that just opened a pet store, you know. But they got a lot of cool stuff in there, you know. Well, yeah, but that's right. the thing. I mean, um, me and uh, Andrew talked about it a couple times. It's, it, there's a lot more to running a pet store than people think, because yep. you know you got to sell a lot of shit to be able to pay the overhead for a you know for a pet store. You got to have some other shit going on, or else it's really hard. Yeah, and they say, right. you know, they got retex, boas, berms. They sell everything, you know. Right. They, uh, Cayman oh. alligators, you know. I mean, they've got everything that you could buy. Tranches, frogs, whatever, you know. That's why it helps when they when you lease out space to, like, dog groomers and shit, man. That takes a lot of your overhead away. Even if I had a mom and pop, that's the first thing I would do is get a dog trainer and a dog groomer. Damn, they kick you out because of your dog? Damn. Yeah. But then again, too, if I went down to my mom pop shop, say they were a little bit more expensive on something, at least I know it's healthy, it's taken care of, and you can see the difference between the two snakes. Yeah. And they're going to tell you it's a male or a female. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I mean, that's a good thing. You know, you, you know, some of them stores won't even let you pop them or do anything to find out, you know. No, yeah. If you go into a pet co and say, hey, is that a male or female? They're like, I don't know. It's like, can I check? No, you can't. No, you can't. Most of them are males. Okay. So, yes and no. At first, they would have told me no. But now they'll be like, oh, yeah, go ahead. Like, I'm like the resident reptile expert, snake expert, or something. And I'm like, dude, I'm not like, you know, I'm not, I, I don't know that much. I know the basics, you know. Yeah, but, a lot of them get mad if you try to correct them, you know. But, like, you know, you yeah. try to say something, they're like, who are you? Well, I got way more knowledge than you do, you know. I oh, yeah, I've been to pet like that one I seen. It looked like a little triangle in there. I was like, man, that snake needs some food or it's going to die. You could, like, right. see it yeah. spying and shit. It's like, they're supposed to be yeah, round, absolutely. not triangle, you know. It's like, well, uh, are you sure? It's like, yeah, I breed these things. You know, I feed them right. all the time. That snake right. needs food, man. It's like, now. It's like, it shouldn't go to anybody now because they're not going to be able to keep it alive it's like right right absolutely and and that is a big thing is if you're going to go to those stores try to build a relationship with the people up there so that whenever you're saying something to them like they take your word as you, take you, serious. As actual, yeah. you know right. like, listen um but yeah it, it like my guy up there he's like a friend to me so we're cool you know um yeah he calls me he's right. like up oh, i got another one you know and i'm like all right what you got this time or what's the issue this time and like i don't know it's really cool i i like that he wants to learn and like you know i'm down to help i'll be right. you know, yeah. telling him oh check out this youtube channel or that youtube channel you know well he like, should if you're going to work that department or be that manager of the department you should have knowledge and if know. you don't you yeah. should learn the knowledge right. because if not because people come in never had a pet and you're giving them a, you know this you know and yep. you don't even give them the right equipment or nothing you know right so. yeah so yeah. how long are you two been in the ball python game um, to be honest well, with you I, like i bought my first snake about a year ago i was nice. like actually afraid of snakes i you know i don't know my daughter introduced me to snake cutting videos and I fell in love and yeah. I'm not that type of person that does anything half-assed. So her ideal of one or two snakes turned into 19 and growing. <laughs> oh yeah. That's cool. No, that's how it starts. It will, especially then when you get into learning like genetics and it's like, Oh fuck, I can make this or I want to do this. Buy I this do or this. this. It, it's crazy, man. It's mm -hmm. nuts. And, and then you gotta limit yourself. It's like, it's like okay, I only got so much space. What am I gonna work with? Right. How about you, and, and yeah, you're you're mixing, you know, just money and space and time and just yeah, you're trying to get as much genes as you can. I ended up starting actually. Uh, I got my Ken. You're like a month or two still forward. You said a year ago, but not quite. I'm a year ago. Almost a year ago. Yeah. I said. March of last like year. March, yeah. 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 Okay. Mine was January. And then like oh, yeah. two months later I met Ken. So that's how I was like, nah, man, why are you lying, Ken? <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. well, almost a year, ten months. Sorry. Seems like a year months ago. Ago. Close enough, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm just playing. better part of um, a year. So you guys but, gonna uh, breed anything this year or are you just raising up babies to get ready to breed in a couple years? No, I actually yeah. got six locks already. Damn. How many? Six? Six. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, the clowns three. are locked up right now. Hell yeah. I put a little killer short clowns. on TikTok. Ken likes them uh, killer clowns. Nah, I, I mean, they're okay, I guess. I, like them I, I prefer to keep pastel out of my clowns. I mean, I like it in Desert Ghost. I like it in Exanthic. I like it in Hypo. I like it in Pied. I just not so much in clown. So you, so you're not interested in a blackhead killer clown. <laughs> no, see, yeah, yeah, sure. right. wait, uh, now wait, now I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question now. Yeah, uh, I, I would be. I mean, because <laughs> <the blackhead, laughs> yeah, you go, damn mean, it. Yeah. If the price is right, I mean, uh, sure. No. It ain't got blackhead, but I, I knew if I said that, you're gonna be like, son of a bitch. It, it'll, it'll tease me. It'll change my mind. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. So uh, we had a debate last night on a snake that I bought as a black pastel Mojave. And the guy who sold it to me said, Don't be surprised if that's not mahogany Mojave. 
And it's been in my mind ever since. And Chris last night kind of confirmed it. It's probably Mahogany Mojave and not Black Pastel. That right. was pretty cool. I can go get it again. She's nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ken retracted to the same. Uh, 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 well, yeah. If it's, if it's just, so if there's I'm something added to that killer I'm clown, sure. then we might talk. <laughs> yeah. I, blackhead, sure. Mahogany. I mean, now that I might have it, maybe not, but Blackhead, I, I have it in Pied in Lab. I have a Blackhead Head Pied Lab. And I got a bunch of triple, well, not a bunch. I got a couple triple head clutches that are Pied Lab Clown. So that Pied Lab is going to eventually be worked into that triple recessive. So what everybody in here, what you're hearing is when you have any clutches this year and you have anything pastel and it's just a pastel, go ahead and ship it to Ken. Ship all your pastels to Ken. <laughs> he loves them. Let's stock them up on him. So if you send me these snakes, I got a pastel head ghost. If you you need that one, so send me these snakes. I'm going to be giving away a lot of snakes. Just saying, the more you spend, the more I give back. (laughs) The same thing. Yeah, but it's only because he's out of rack space. Yeah, I'm out of rack space right now. So (laughs) otherwise, that always puts a damper on things. Right. I got to build more, buy more, do something. So you guys are, I heard Christmas, you guys are going to. It's a time of year for me right now. I, I'm kind of low on money and rebounding for Christmas. So So you guys on your channel, I heard you're, you're going to, later on, you're going to do some giveaways. But yeah, I heard yeah, it's like, sure. it's going to, it's kind of a little different than what most people are is. You're just, you're going to say something like on Instagram, like, hey, what's the keyword? Because you've yeah. mentioned it in your live streams before. That yeah, way mm-hmm. people just don't jump in for a free animal. They yeah. actually got to be watching exactly. you to get that keyword that you've been dropping every week or whatever, you know. Exactly. Which is cool, um, you know. I want we're, someone we're to win our better snakes giveaways. that's been there from the beginning. Right. That's yeah, and I mean, we're still going to yeah. do open, open giveaways for, like, merch and stuff like that, too. So, and I like, mean, you know, there, will, there will be stuff you can win just for being random and showing up. Um, but it, it's, we're not, we're not going to give a complete random person a thousand dollar snake or something, you know? Right. I did too, John. And I done smoked so much weed last night. I done forgot what the keyword was. I didn't okay. write it down. Ghostbusters. <laughs> I, I sent you oh, yeah, it it is Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> the first yeah, yeah. keyword you must remember for our giveaways is Ghostbusters. I'm not ever saying <laughs> do you, it again. Do you, guys on, do you guys only go live on Tuesday or? Yeah, other days. Yeah. Well, that's there when they interview people, but they do random yeah, lives every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, we do randoms here and there. If like someone cancels, because we don't try to step on anyone's feet, we try to stay away from other people's time mm-hmm. slots and stuff. But if we see no one's on, we'll, we'll pop up here and there. Nice. Well, I mean, sometimes we're just bored. I yeah, mean, and sometimes yeah. we're <laughs> bored. And- well, that's the thing. There's there's billions of people on here. There's plenty. Well, of you're getting your people. watch time. You might as well. It's you're yeah. getting watch time. You're still hanging out. And you're still having fun. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. you know, and and so if you're like you know, he's got six hundred subscribers. You kind of want to build your watch time up. You know, you don't want to hit a thousand subscribers and go. Okay, now I got to try my four thousand watch hours. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, but it's either one of the two. You never get them at the same time. Right. What's up, Fry? Yeah. Fry, Fry. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, you always get one of the two. Because it's like you, every channel I've ever known is always like it, it happens one or the other. You know, it's either you gain a bunch of subscribers fast or you gain a bunch of watch time and you're sitting around waiting for subscribers. I heard y'all had a good time last night. I mean, I know there was a few things that popped up on there I wouldn't have wanted to see, but I heard y'all had a good time last night. Yeah, we had a, a wiener on board last <laughs> night for about 10 seconds. Extra snakes. Ten seconds. I heard it was longer than that. I heard it was about no, thirty. No. <laughs> he says I ten, you say thirty. Like... We're gonna just say twenty. That's right in the middle. How about that? All right, all right, all right. All right. We'll we'll say say I'm thinking 20. he said like minimum thirty. He was saying a little bit. I know it was a minimum of thirty, but I'll take it. It probably seemed like it. Minutes. I mean, five seconds and that pops on, it probably thinks like forever. Like get it down, get you know, you know. For it to get off the screen, you're like waiting like hey hey it seems like it's like forever so let's you know, clarify this have deleted it now just to go back to see how long it actually was Dude, you <laughs> if, deleted if, it. yeah if, uh, how long what was what do you look at i deleted it how long uh, it was actually on 
Yeah. So the thing was, was Ken went like this to add him on and then sat back and was like, oh, and we're all talking to him and he's like looking around and like, you know, yeah. he's like, mm-hmm. it wasn't like that. Now you're, now you're uh, lying. It felt okay. like that. Okay. It may not I heard you were that. talking a little bit. <laughs> There's a little James advice. If you, drop your story, link, if you drop the link in chat, fish. you make sure they show their picture and you can yeah. see their face yeah, before you right. let them join. Number two, Solo Butterfly is not going to join anybody's chat unless yeah. she messages you. She never joined a live stream. She's not going to randomly pop on a live stream. That's your first I giveaway. Know she even knows how to get on. And now, she, now she Luke, he, it, he used Luke's on. name one night too. So, I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But if they don't show funny, your face, if you don't see their face, don't let them on because that's yeah, a, that's funny, a giveaway. Luke tried to get on right, right. at like a half hour after that, and I was real hesitant about Luke, like letting Luke on. I made sure that I seen him before he got in. <laughs> yeah, anytime you problem. drop that thing publicly, and yeah, that's the thing. It's like the whole. I mean, right? Like anybody can click on it, and it's it's bad to say, but it's like. Anybody in the whole freaking world could click on it, you know. I mean, depending on where exactly. they're at. They can... I mean, if I was hung like that, dude, I would <laughs> never show it anywhere because it was seriously like a pinky hanging there. I mean, I didn't mean for that picture to show up. My bad, he said. <laughs> you oh no, it's it's amazing when people want to show other people. It's like here, look at this. Like nobody wanted to see. <laughs> right? She was. You shouldn't be so proud of that. <laughs> I but I mean, but that's the thing. I mean, you know, it's just something a lot of you don't know. Luckily, we've never had it happen here. But if you don't know the person, or they're, or it's not that you don't know them. If they don't show their face, then they're up to something. And if the, you know, yeah. it, it's too is they're using people in the chat because now it's you're thinking, oh, hey, I know these people. I'm gonna let them right on. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, right. well, expect, it depends on the moment too. Because if like you're you're waiting for somebody or something, and you see somebody's name, it's like, oh, they're here. You go click on it. No, nah, that ain't them. <laughs> yeah. Kayla and Cherry had a surprise before too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got a good look at it. Eric. I mean, it was right <laughs> that's there. The I mean, oh, that's funny. Like it a was right little baby there. dick. It was just yeah, right when you, when you, that's funny. I must feel bad for the little guy. He knew the length of the clip and the length of the. <laughs> he said it was cold outside. Huh? <laughs> must have been. It was, like, it was chilly I mean, that night. Don't mess with Must me. have been. So it's somewhere, someone in cold climate. We can narrow it down to there. Bro, Ken has been obsessed with the size. Like, <laughs> I want to. I want to figure out who this is because that ain't right. Like. It needs to stop. Girl. No more wiener All in the right. room. Every, Ken's going to be like, hey, show me your wiener before you enter. I got to make sure <laughs> yeah, you're not. Yeah, like, I want to see if you're the one. You got that little right. mole over there? I got a very vivid imagination. That wiener is locked in my head, and it's going to stick there for oh, years. God. Like, I'm never going to forget. Like, even the pew pattern, I got it locked. Hey, like, you know, that's not, not, to to say. Again. That's not like something it. you say on live stream when Eric is in the chat. Because he's going to remember that that. forever that you said that now. (laughs) That's okay. I mean, I I, I, I own up to my word. I own up to my word, so that's cool. Call me out on it. So then the dick bandit got what he wanted then. He's embedded into into your brain forever. (laughs) It's going to be 20 years before I could get it out of my head. He's at least 20 years. Keep <laughs> uh, streaming. I'm sure it'll happen again. I mean, the weenus bandit. Hey, just watch out for Ken at reptile shows, guys, in the bathroom. He's going to be looking. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be checking out. 20 motherfuckers is on that stream. <laughs> yeah. Right. Don't, right. don't give me a chance to eye out in the urinals because I, I will. <laughs> and it's not because like I'm trying to hit on you. I'm just trying to solve a case here. <laughs> I'm trying to solve a case. Here. <laughs> we would like to know where the Wiener Bandit lives. Hey, I I kind of like that as the nickname. We were trying to think of a nickname for this guy last night. The Wiener what? Bandit. 
Uh, well, see, we and, and that better. was the thing, and that was the thing too. We could do better. <laughs> the more when it used to happen before, the more it was talked about, the more it would happen. The more it would happen. The more it yeah. would happen. It was so crazy. And and you're gonna find out too. Like there'll be a period of times where everything's good on your live stream, and then there'll be a month or whatever. You'll get all these spam bots jumping in your chat. It doesn't happen all the time, but there's periods. It just seems like it goes crazy. Yeah, it does go in waves. It's really weird. It's like you won't see one for a long time. And all of a sudden, you get all there you go. I, um, Eric, I will not be looking at any pictures that you send me from now on. I mean, it's I'm just going to delete them before I even open them. Everybody send your picture to Ken to make what? sure it's not you. It needs, it Ken needs a flood of dick pics, please. We need a no. flood. Yep. Everybody say no, thank you. How are you? How else are you going to get to the bottom of this, Ken? Yeah, <laughs> you said you were investigating. I think I think I'm backing off the case. Just thinking of the <laughs> just just so that. I mean, I, I'm going to have to get a professional because I mean, <laughs> my my mind's starting to get cloudy. You know, I might be off and just drawing details in there. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Is it cloudy because it's full of images of penises? <laughs> uh, yeah, you, so you, you you sending me all the penis pics, it's going to cloud my memory even more. That is not true, kid, because I've got about fifty words banned, and they just change it, and they'll keep coming in. You can't ban them. You can't completely ban them. Oh yeah, yeah, you could do that all yeah. day. Your finger. Yeah, because you can ban it, and they'll them. come in there and different, a different one, different. They, they're they're up on that. Trust me, I've got about fifty of them banned on my. In my list. Yeah, you just got to make sure that there's a, a person sitting there that you know and, and not just like a pitcher. Because the second yeah. you put someone in with a pitcher, you're well, getting a winner. Well, even even then, it doesn't even have, like I said, if you're trying to get new people on your chat, it doesn't even really necessarily have to be you. But just when you see them backstage, make sure, you know, it looks like somebody's actually there and, and wants to participate. You know, right. it's like, because it's hard, it's hard to recruit new people into the into the. Send all your pics here. Going on, you know. <laughs> you know, they, they, they already got your Instagram up. You're probably going to get a lot of messages. Oh my God, nine oh five! You got one coming. I'm just saying. <laughs> you really do. I mean, it ain't going to be like ignorant or douchebaggish, but you got one coming. Ken's it's going to be pretty fun. To <laughs> I think 905 oh, was there last you night. Know you're already checking your inbox. So, and so what was this, Kara said? <laughs> what happened to Ken's that? Oh, the Go Herping kid? He got hacked many times by downloading a fake stream. Oh, that is so awesome. Good, because he's a dick. I don't like. I, didn't, I don't like that little kid. Oh, that couldn't have happened to a kid, better yeah. person. Nice, nice. I remember. <laughs> it still it could be that kid too. I remember there was a, there was somebody that came in the live stream and they hated me because I said something about that kid. And oh yeah, yeah oh chicken crazy. strip. Yeah, chicken strip. He stalked me for months after that just because I hated that. Like kid. a twelve year old kid stalking him. Gator poo gators. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's welcome, up, welcome, Gator? Welcome, welcome. He got a brand new croc today. Nah, croc. Yeah, nice. yeah. Well, I just said I hated him, so I hope I don't no, get flooded. It, with... it was crazy, Chicken Strip, because he's like, he loved my channel, he loved all that shit. And then one day I said something about that kid, and Chicken Strip freaked out, man. He stalked me on I... my Instagram, all kind of shit. Yeah, he was, was like nuts. a 12, 13 year old kid. He was stalking I don't know how Justin. he was, but yeah. He, you know, he, he was stalking he was him, dude. He was stalking him on Instagram and everything. I said, and... I'd send Iron Dog messages and shit. It's like, look, this kid's sending me these weird messages and shit. It's like, I didn't mind him until I seen that Brian Bartek spider video. He totally took everything out of context. Like, oh yeah, douchebag. Oh, yeah. Well, that 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 was that. The, it was the hmm. spider gene we were talking about because um. Oh, he said something like, "Oh, you have one," or because I, I was talking about that kid being a dumbass and 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 something and yeah, and then I ended up saying something like, "Oh yeah, I got a spider. I'm gonna breed the shit out of it," and then that kid hated me forever. That's funny. Hello, Kit Kats Date. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome to this community. <laughs> it's time oh left. boy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't start a live or you're gonna get wiener. <laughs> you're gonna get wiener. 
<laughs> yeah, you like it. Yeah, you got to make sure that. It, but it's hard, like I said, because you want to get new people in the community to go on the lives right. and, and and participate. But you know, the risk of what you click on, you, you're never sure. But it's the world, you know, web, the you kid know. was the kid was smart. I'm, I'm going to give yep. him that. He, he yeah, knew yep. how to run a clickbait. He knew how to run controversy. He got a ton of views. And he probably made a lot of money off that video because, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, and that's, I mean, that's what he, that was his deal, you know. Well, that, yeah. that's what we talked about the other night. I mean, there's, there's always, there, there's just as much Sup, room for the villain than there is, there is the good guy, <laughs> you know. Right, right. Everybody William, say hi to William. Hi, William. <laughs> Yeah, you're seeing all the people. If you do it wrong, we're the ones that are going to kick your ass. <laughs> I got some That's Amish connections. I'll have you surrounded by bearded motherfuckers. I'm surrounded by no! Oh, my God. <laughs> Ken, tell your Amish story. He's going to tell Come your on. Amish story and shit. Come on. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, I mean, who, it's got to be a pretty good story when somebody says, hey, Ken, tell your Amish story. I mean. He always has me tell it, and everyone's heard it before. I don't know. I mean, and I, like, so I used to do heating and air conditioning, like geothermal specific. <laughs> and I was sitting there cutting a return grade out, and the like Amish it. kids came back because they were, like, 16, 17-year-old kids came back from lunch break. And one acted like he was going to work on the stairs and he farted right in my face. And um, I didn't take it too kindly. So, well, yeah, just all we got to tell William is we know people in Pennsylvania that keep very venomous snakes like king cobras and kabooms. Like I told y'all, have you surrounded by Amish motherfuckers in about 30 seconds? Don't make me make that call, William. But see, the Amish are like two different started. communities around here. There's cool ones and then there's like asshole <laughs> ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did Can't send me a pic. That dude farted in his face twice. <laughs> yeah, well, he went to do it the second time, and he didn't really get me the second time. <laughs> he said it like, what, it missed you or what? <laughs> like, no, I, I, you know, I seen him walking back down the stairs, and I just got up and walked away. And we, like, went out the door well, and said, I'm not cutting this fucking return. I'm going to end up ripping that kid's head off. Dude, he farted in Ken's face. Ken got all mad, went outside. Everybody was like, chill out, chill out. He went back in. Dude came back up and farted in his face again. <laughs> <laughs> I was heated. You do I, I, mean, I, I mean, was he just fucking with you for no reason or what? Like, there was kind of like a little animosity between the, the Amish and us that job because they was doing the electricity. And like we made them move two lines, so he was just kind of being a dickhead. Like he was trying to be a funny dickhead, but it, it was done in a manner like right after a conversation where we told him they had to move their lines, and he comes up and farts in my face. Like it's like, <laughs> dude, I walked away. So like, is that like nothing. an Amish throwdown? Then is that how they? they I know. Fucking... I think, yeah, that, I think oh, Ken, yeah. problem, we can go outside. I, mean, I think you need to start a different channel and just tell your stories about wieners and Amish people farting and all that. I think you'll get a lot more subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I, I, not the kind you want. Out here and there on my reptile show. I don't like, you know, I don't want all the subscribers. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the the worst worst yeah, but I don't want to be YouTube famous. Oh, yeah, because the they'll cut them up and clip them, and there'll be a short, you know, of it somewhere. <laughs> Man, so we'll was have a, a, a guy right here on my face. Me because turning me. red. I can see it already. Uh, it just cracks me out. The Amish are throwing down with some fart in the face kind of shit. It's like, this, this I, gonna do, be, right? I mean, hey, I Justin, this would be a good life for you me to hair. cut up, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, it was like right there. It was about it. Like, blow my hair. Like it was like not like he blasted you so bad like you a, felt it. I felt the wind on my hair. Blasted, hold on, he blasted you so close you felt it. Yeah, because I was sitting no, there cutting out saying, measuring a thing, saying, and he got you. like there was no railing on his stairs, and he put his butt right there, like <laughs> six inches from me, and farted. The second time he kind of walked by and did it, but that first time he bent over. I like, put his butt. Six she inches from my head out. and let one rest. <laughs> right, blew my hair. You're I was pissed. I was heated. 
There is no fucking way. I don't. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I went directly outside because I I, I, I like looked at him. I said, "Look, if your little dude does that again, I'm going to be a I'm... fart." Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. You can't just feel a fart from across the room. I mean, you got to be right well, in there. Yeah. He was like within six inches. I felt the wind. It was about it. six inches. He had his nose between the cheeks. I don't know if I've ever heard anybody say, I I'm felt not going to stand I there. I mean, it was like kind of behind here. I didn't even see it. But I heard it. <laughs> you know, I felt it. I would turn around and jack that motherfucker up. Boy. He's right. He did a drive-by. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, it's a serious me. fucking fart if you felt it. I'm just saying. That's you know, yeah. that's some serious business. Yeah, yeah. it was seriously like, like a, an attack on me. And I wanted to rip his head off, but I wasn't allowed. Oh, oh man. Fucking, man, they'll get you. I still remember that Amish guy's face. If I see him around, I'm going to go fart on him. <laughs> I'm going to give you back, he said. Hey, I'm going to fart pretty... so hard on his back, it's going to crack. <laughs> it's pretty talented as well that the fact that he could fart twice on command. That's pretty good. Like I was already walking away because I seen what he was doing. Like Because I was quick about it. I, no, uh-uh, fuck us. You know, and it was it was a good one too. Oh man, Ken, dude, the worst I mean, thing. They did just get Ken. back from lunch though, so <laughs> you know, Amish food sometimes. There's your question, Ken. Oh my goodness, it's doing pretty good. She's uh like 700 grams now, still eating weekly. She's putting on the weight. She'll probably awesome. make it to breeding by the end of the year, maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. Yeah. These rats I've been getting, I've had three females go from like 700 grams to almost 1,100 grams in a month and a half, feeding on one one rat weekly. It's like probably closer to a small than a weaned. But, you know, there was like six, 700 grams of taking them down and not having a problem and wanting to eat them weekly. So I kept giving them a bigger rat and oh, yeah. they're and around 1,100 grams now. <laughs> yeah. They're eating. Yeah. Tell him, tell him about <laughs> the one you were telling us last night. <laughs> oh, uh, it was all like organic fart because the, the old man. The old man. McDonald's will cause some started. havoc on somebody. Man. Oh, I, mean, oh, oh, oh. I didn't smell so McDonald's. Like I, take a I will not poop in public. I, I just won't. But there, there's an incident that happened when I was a very little boy. That I was like seven years old that like traumatized me for life and I will not poop in public. Just won't do it. So we was on a road trip from Pennsylvania to Texas, like and you know, them old truck stops, like not like the big ones, but like the community ones that has like 20 road like bathrooms and stuff. Right. So like little me, like, like you know, I yeah, I go in there and I had to drop a deuce, like you're on the road. So I, I go in there and take a poop and I lock the door, but apparently these locks weren't that good because some old man like 80 year old man like tried to back in and like had his pants half down and was ready to fire and i'm like hey i'm in here no <laughs> like i seen like half a butt and <laughs> you didn't read the wa- writing on the wall did you meet me here at this time on this day like <laughs> i was seven <laughs> i was like seven my feet didn't even hit the ground. I'm sitting there dangling my feet, taking a poop. And he probably looked underneath and didn't see no feet hitting the ground and thought it was open. <laughs> he oh, he sees a, a butthole, some soggy balls coming at him. He'll never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guarantee I was five seconds away from getting covered. Like, you could just tell it was one of them ones where it was going to be instant kabloom. So he can't poop I mean, in there public. Was no push. He was and after down last and night, he damn near can't do a live stream. <laughs> He's got it from the front and back. <laughs> He's up here traumatized and shit. I've had some weird potty things happen to me in my life with farting and, and stuff. I mean, yeah, you I don't know. Do if I you and Benji would be funny together. I was together, say, you and buttholes are friendly and shit. It's like, I don't get it. 
I, I mean, oh. I find the humor in it. Like, but it, oh, it, yeah. I seriously don't poop in public. I'll, I'll like be like out <laughs> in the back. If I have to poop, I'll run home, poop, and then go back out and finish. I won't do it in public. There you go. Like the fact that you're like in your 40s and you're like, no, it's just hilarious to me, bro. You ain't ever had the bubble guts. What do you do? Just shit on the side of the road? No, I'll go home. Bro, I'll hold that shit. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a That's fan it. of just shitting anywhere neither, but I mean, if the time comes and it's, you know, you gotta go, <laughs> you gotta do your business. No, yeah, man. like there I mean, have yeah. been times where I've been forced to go in public. But goddamn, that door was locked, and I was like, "Great, a fight coming up off of it." I don't care. Someone does it to me as an adult. Like, they're getting, I'm coming out, not hurting my ass or not. He's they're like getting clocked. He's in the door like three times before he even sits down. He's like, "I just can't come open." It's like, dude, that old dude yanked that door so hard it like popped the lock. It damn near broke it. So I'm sitting there, seven years old, like still trying to finish the shit, like. <laughs> trying to hold the door shut because it's it's popping up. What's up, cat like, eyes? It was just... <laughs> welcome, 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 cat eyes. That's so cool. you plan on going to any reptile shows this year, Ken? <laughs> I'm going. I want to go to Tenley, and um, I'm hitting a couple in PA. I won't be vending probably this year. I, I'll right. say my vending adventures will probably start next year, but I, I want to get around to to meet people and and just socialize. Well. Then if anybody's listening, if you see Ken go in the bathroom, don't go in there and scare the shit out of him. Oh, I'm on it. I'm I'm fucking. They'll be in there shaking the door. Ken will be like, no, goddamn it, quit. <laughs> You're trying to get your not your teeth knocked out, aren't you? <laughs> I'm like, like, hey, you in there. <laughs> I'm six two two fifty. You got a fist coming if you open that door. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> like I ain't asking I, no questions. I ain't no, waiting to see an old man drop what his pants. What if they come in backwards with the ass down? What are you going <laughs> to punch them down? I'm not punching them. If I get <laughs> shit on my hand, oh well. What's up, Pat? He <laughs> said if I get shit on my hand, oh well. It washes off. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh welcome, my Pat. goodness. Welcome. I should have said poo. What's up, Snuck? I'm sorry for the S word. They're the cracking down on that. They're cracking down. We got to watch. Oh, no. We've already well, violated it. It's yeah. all good. I'll be at Hamburg in spring if you go there. Mother Elf will be there in springtime. I might. I might end up at that one. I want to catch at least one Hamburg show this year to check it out. Hell, yeah. That would be cool. I mean, I'm from State College, PA, like right near it. So Hamburg's only like maybe a two hour drive for me. Yeah. But I could get almost anywhere in two hours. Nut punching. <laughs> yeah, from the backside, dude. Like I'm not missing. I'm aiming for the top of the nut side. I, 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 no, I can't I'm coming up. Imagine an I'm coming old up. High to sit on some little kid in a, in a, in a toilet. Like an uppercut right hook. It's coming after your ball sack. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, the yeah I, I, I would suck, you dude, being seven. I mean, I could see you traumatized a little bit. Yeah, yeah like, it, 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 I just don't want to shit in public. Like, uh, if I have to, I will. But if oh, I, yeah, you have, I mean, you can't hold it, dude. I mean, you end up being like a dog it, all locked home. up, you know. You got to let the, you gotta let that if, I hold, if I can hold it, I'm going home. No, like, I don't have a problem with that. I sit down and it comes out. I don't got to put it. I just... Oh, I'm a quick shitter. 30 seconds and I'm off the toilet. <laughs> hey, what do you think then you can shit anywhere? <laughs> yeah, but I still don't. Maybe that's why I'm such a quick pooper now because I'm scared of something backing in. <laughs> He's yeah. like, sitting around. I ain't hanging out in this moment. I ain't got just figured like, out my problem. That he, he's too. like, I don't, I don't get on my phone. I don't do nothing. I go in there, get business, get in and get out. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, me too. That, that's, that's me. I'll and, go and until I take I it off screen fast right. from that. Thanks, guys. You helped me solve this like lifelong issues I've had. Mm. Hey, that's what we're here for. Hey. So we're here yeah. as a community to help you. We're here, you know. It's like a, <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. Like an intervention. His eyeballs are all bugged out and shit, trying to shit in thirty seconds. <laughs> you, you've got so I'll many of these stories, guys. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm like, Ken, you really have the worst luck out of anybody. Like. He just has the craziest things happen to him, guys. Like who who has an old man going poop on you when you're Benji? seven years old? 
Yeah, that's he didn't poop on me. He tried to, and I stopped him. I yelled. <laughs> well, I, I, I think he might have squirted on you a little bit if you're that devastated. I think he might have squirted on his pants a little. I think Maybe he might have got a little in his drawers, but none come out. I mean, there was only a hat, like half a butt. <laughs> there wasn't like you know, you know, it, it wasn't mid butt. He, he wasn't Come on, be black. honest. Be honest. You know you got to You don't even want to go. It's no different from seeing the crap. plumber underneath your sink. For the years, <laughs> for the amount of years that it devastated you, I think you maybe got shot on. I mean, I'm thinking. He, he the turtle had it weak. He had to. <laughs> so I don't up, know. I mean, doing? I don't remember it. Maybe I blocked that part out. I mean, I don't know. I don't remember seeing a half a butt. <laughs> I might have just blanked that part out in my mind. I might have just said I don't know. I don't remember that. So now, so now he's checking peckers and, and buttholes, <laughs> trying to figure out his childhood problems and his internet problems all at the same time. He's I like, never tried mother? to go around checking buttholes to find that old man. I don't know where that's coming from, but I never oh, went around checking assholes. Like that is a total fabrication of the story. <laughs> that that part's a total fabrication of the story. <laughs> yeah, total. <laughs> and, and you know, Eric's a big dude, so he comes in. You know, you're yeah, you're going to be know, screwed. <laughs> I'm going to carry a mini bat with me. Go ahead, back up. I don't think you're going to like it. <laughs> he's going to back in anyway, anyway, don't he? So his head fits. Yeah, All right. he's so going to back everybody... in. There's going to be a mini bat there going, I hope you like it. <laughs> hey, guys, just make sure you guys are offering Ken x lax when he's at the show. I am not like, going. Pretty, I don't pretty... care. I will not poop at Tenley. I will pee in the bathroom. <laughs> I am not going into one of them fucking stalls at any reptile shows ever. You ruined it. Bro, he's on going? I'm going to this shit if the turtle's poking out. I'm not going in there. I'll, I'll run outside he's and wipe with leaves. I'll go behind the building. That's like that. What is that TikTok where it showed that one TikTok where it has that going on? That guy's holding his butt running to the shitter, you know? Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> I'll be running outside because I ain't going in a reptile turn out the guy and you know, like. In there, man, no, no. Ken is gonna be a public pooper. He gonna be on YouTube for that yeah. soon. Yeah, I can get arrested for I public know, indecency like at Tenley. <laughs> He's all holding his ass, running through the show. Oh, there's Ken. He won't go to the <laughs> hey, That's Ken. Uh, I'm gonna make you face your fears at Tinley, and then uh, maybe you can find the Pecker guy at the same time. Rob, right? Can you help me no, microwave some pizza I'm rolls? I'm saying if someone backs in instead of like walking in face first, they're going to get a mini bat in their butt. Just saying. This I'll bring my cane. I got a cane. I'll bring a cane. That, that gets more distance. The fact that you have to think about carrying around weapons while you take a crap is like really something to think about your life, bro. I mean, well, I got you, you guys through. trying to back in on me now. I mean, <laughs> why has it got to go that far? I mean, <laughs> you, now you just have a huge target because all these people are reptile people and they all know reptile people and they're all going to tell this story. So by two, three days from now, a thousand people are going to know about your pooping problem. So I tell, <laughs> you, you, don't, I tell you, you don't go to like any outdoor concerts like for a weekend. Right. Oh, uh, like yeah, I've done them, and like I've always left the concert, like for the night. Well, I've never well stayed on the concert. You might as well go to a sporting goods store and just get you one of them buckets with the lid on it. You can just have your own. Yeah, I thought about that. I, I would be good at doing that as long as it was in a tent and like I had some privacy. You get the one that like, hooks you on the back of your hip. The tent, but I ain't pooping with someone in a tent. Like that's just. We'll weird. just get I'm get the one that hits in the back of your truck. I'm down with pooping alone. I understand that. You know, I'm not down yeah, with the, the truck hitch one. You can just sit up, you mount it to your truck hitch, sit right there and do it. Oh, I've seen I that. In, yeah. I would tell you what. I was in jail two times for nine yeah. days. Like they just <laughs> held me just to be a dickhead. Like they really had nothing on me. They didn't really even do anything wrong with these <laughs> cops up here. If, if, well, okay, the one time I was carrying well, my home gun that I owned in my car with an open carry, and I, I had it sitting out with my hands up like this when they came to the car, and they still got me for carrying it without a permit. 
and it's an open carry. You're allowed to carry it back and forth through the range, you know, and it was three o'clock in the morning and it was loaded. I mean, technically they didn't really have anything on me because I gave it up to me, but they put me in jail and made me wait nine days <laughs> because they wanted to be dickheads about it. <laughs> so okay. now is that considered pooping in public? Um, it was hard for me to poop in jail. <laughs> yeah. Yep. There you go. Did it you was read an awkward kids situation. Um, I had a Sally and I, I, I just came flat out about it. I said, yo, look, <laughs> I'm not going to be in here when you poop. And like when I poop, I'm going to want some privacy. You all right with that? And he didn't have a problem with that. So it worked out pretty easily. Ken's got it. You need to come up with one of those late night emperor commercial type gadgets for pooping in public. And instead of, <laughs> instead of sham wow, you can call it poop now. Yeah, there you, you go. Well, them little, you just need one of them little ring things that just pop up. You just let it go, and you're in a little tunnel. All of a sudden, you can do poop wherever you, you want. You know, I'm oh, happy yeah. that, that, that <laughs> my stories <laughs> could like create something like this. You know, like a pop up pooper. <laughs> that would be <laughs> <hilarious>. <laughs> if your story actually inspired somebody to create something. Yeah, that that would be awesome. Like, I would totally please be like, do, guys, please do. Could you imagine that just be walking along like at a fair or something and you just pop up your little poop booth? Bang. I'm pretty right, Leave got, me alone. Dude, the poop booth. That's what you call but, it. But no matter no matter what We're you come up, up with or what you design, somebody can always back up into that thing and remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what you make. Somebody can always right. back into that. I've never told this story before here. I can't, I can't, I can't imagine living my one. whole life being afraid of a great big ball sack <laughs> of old guy. I can't believe I'm going to admit this one on live air. Like, this right, one's pretty Cameron, funny. Sure yeah, you're, one. you're doing all this to yourself. So Yeah, See, I know, but I really don't care. I mean, it's when life it experiences. It's you show. know, I'm an open book. I've always said I'm an open book. So why not tell the funniest shit that's ever happened in your life? Rob. So, yeah. um... Like when I was going through all this kidney stone stuff, like I had an egg sized kidney stone, I had like 12 lithotripsies, and it's a surgery involving a laser and a camera going in and out your pee hole. It wasn't fun. So they found a nice prostate stone. Whoa, whoa. Now you had surgery through your pecker. Yes, like 12 times. Oh, 12 times? Yes. And then I, there, there's 12 procedures of removing the stent afterwards. So it's like 12 procedures where I was asleep and 12 procedures where I was awake. But in, in the mix of all this, they found a prostate stone. So I, I went to this other urologist and man, this guy had some banana fingers telling me that he wants to feel if the <laughs> prostate stone grew, grew. You told me this. Like, so I'm fingers. pretty freaked out as it is because this doctor does not have small fingers he's old and they're like the size of a nickel at least like i'm like come on can i get someone with dainty fingers like come on so i'm like already kind of sweating it like that's just at the tip like the the, the end was like the size the of a quarter i mean they're, they're pretty fucking round fingers i was i was like you know holy shit this is really going down so I'm sitting there, really going down. and you know he's got his finger in my butthole, and this this doctor actually has enough nerves to say, "I can't quite feel the stone. Could you back up in me a little bit?" I was like, yeah. <laughs> well, "Send him in the finger, yeah. You got a doctor telling you to back up into you." I need a little like, pressure I here. I hear please. beep, beep. Beep going off in my head, like as I'm like trying to push against him a little bit. Going, oh man, yeah, come on! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I couldn't do it. <laughs> and motherfucker said, "You please. He's like, no, you're the doctor." Like I actually talking. said, "What? Are you serious?" He's like, "Well, I can't feel the size. I can't feel the size of the stone. I need, I need in a little deeper." <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what Why goes me? on in Pennsylvania? Seriously. Why me? <laughs> I'm as long as you, didn't, not you, didn't, you didn't say we'll put two in there, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's all just double it up. It'll be fine. No, there was only one. <laughs> yeah. I had to back up into <laughs> it. Kid had that backup alarm. Beep, beep, we beep. Are, back we it are. up. Hey, we already know you only tell half the story. No, that was not the full <laughs> story there. 
<laughs> no, that was the full story. That one was the full story. The banana fingers was what really got me originally. <laughs> it wasn't his finger. A, well, you know, that, that's your luck, though. You got to go in for the old prostate check, and this motherfucker's Andre the Giant. It's like, well, yeah, like, there, can, can the nurse do it? Can the nurse do you it? knew. You know that doctor went into that fresh and going, yeah, I'm definitely going to hurt some dudes. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, you know it. Like, like, you can't. You can't be a proctologist with big fingers and think that's all right. You've got to have a self-conscious and think, I'm an ignorant motherfucker for doing this. Excuse my language again. I'm sorry. I got to watch that. Uh, it, it don't <laughs> matter. It, it don't matter I know, now. But so. I try, but... Bozer wants to know, can you confirm it was only one? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I think I would have felt the other finger going in, and it was all. Oh, you sure? Now this he did. Yeah. Shit, he didn't have both his hands on your shoulder when he was doing that, did he? No. Okay. No. Then you're good. No. That's why I had to back into him because he wasn't trying to fool on me at all. <laughs> I think he knew I was kind of. Did you even get a fucking about reach the around out of this or anything or what? Or did you just get <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. James losing it. He got to like go I off camera. Do it. It's some big old motherfuckers all like, "Oh yeah, today's your check." And I'm like, "No, no, hold out your hands." It's like, "No, it ain't." Okay, it's a different story if you know it's coming. <laughs> but I walk into a, like you know an office, not yeah, expecting to get a finger on my butt, and I got told all of a sudden, "I want to see if this prostate stone grew." And the only way to do it is to put my finger in your butt, like, out of the blue, just, like, for no reason at all. Can't you take an x-ray? You know, like, <laughs> I think the guy just did it to, just to see me squirm. There and there's this tiny little nurse next to me. He's all like, please, can you do it, please? Can you buy your drink? <laughs> I asked him, I was like, are you sure that, that little tiny old lady guy can't do it yeah. out there? And he's like, okay. oh, you're freaking out for nothing. Damn. You camera said even whispered realize. in your ear and he told you to back it up. <laughs> that was not a whisper. No, I think the backup was for him, I'm thinking. Right, right. He was just he was enjoying himself or something. I wasn't. It was not enjoyable sure, for me sure, at all. Get me took that tool. There's no way I could be at the doctor's office with fucking doctor's yeah. finger in my butt and him say, oh, I need you to back up into it. No, it's not going to happen. Right. This show is all like, what are you, like... And gay if you say good game after. <laughs> <laughs> well, I damn sure didn't tell him good game. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I definitely wouldn't pay the bill on that one. It's like, fuck it, you violated me. I ain't paying the bill. I felt uh, violated for sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't really talk to no one for two days after that. I just, you know, stayed secluded <laughs> to myself. Jake, <laughs> oh. <laughs> where do you come up with the guess at? I don't know so, what the hell. So if I get the story, let me let me just see. If, to, so if anybody, for, you know, is kind of lost here. You're seven years old. A guy backed up, scared the shit out of you. Don't like to poop. Yeah, I think you, got you had a problem. You. you had a, you had a problem with your your stone or whatever. So, doctor stuck his finger up your butt, and yeah. now that you've liked that, you now own snakes. So where does the snakes the come in all this after the pooper thing or what? <laughs> yeah, the, the snakes just came in because like my daughter said she wanted to start doing it. So I, yeah, I that's what the doctor said way. too though. Yeah, well I didn't listen to him. I don't I'm okay. not gonna listen to doctors. <laughs> he said that was the doctor. He's like that was the last time. I never went back to that doctor's <laughs> office. <laughs> I've never been back to that doctor's oh, office since, God. and you know I will not go back to that urologist. And he left. wasn't even a proctologist. That was a urologist that stuck his finger up my butt. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. not even sure if that's allowed. <laughs> well. No, okay. I don't have any gerbils. Now, KY's got a good, good question. 
<laughs> KY good. Did he use KY? He used some kind of lubricant. There was lubricant used, yes. He didn't dry <laughs> finger my butt. <laughs> oh my god. And it wasn't spit. It was he in a tube. Uh, what's that thing you always tell Benji about the lady boys? What is it, Justin? Why he likes the lady boys? He likes the lady boys because when he's doing them, he can reach around and feels like he's poking through. <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm not that way, but it's messed up. I, I, I'm the contrary of what Jim's guys might think now. Yeah, the first time I heard that I'm joke, I, I just couldn't stop laughing it's for like okay. two days, man. <laughs> I'm comfortable Can't with my sexuality. Yes, it's okay. Well, That's you okay. have to be with banana fingers about your side. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer consider my asshole a virgin because of that. <laughs> I mean, even though it was a doctor's it's exam. Like, you getting, I mean, well, there was this one time when the doctor got me. <laughs> so what you're saying, your 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 key of advice to anybody in here if they get a prostate exam is to look at your doctor's fingers first before you schedule exactly. it. Exactly. Like, Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Check them out. Like, if they're fat, ask for another doctor. See, all of a sudden, you make me uncomfortable. I want the skinniest finger doctor in here. Every time Ken goes to doctor, let me see your hands before we even talk anything else. There's let me see your fingers. Like a if, if, if I walk in and it's a job, big dude you know? with big hands, I ain't even fucking with him. I, I want a new doctor. <laughs> like, I, I prefer a woman doctor now, basically. <laughs> with man hands. No, with little kind of petite piano playing fingers. Well, that's there's a reason. Long, there's a reason why you have no problem pooping now, though. That's probably the reason. <laughs> I mean, he might have. Yeah, opened I mean, it up, I, I guess. So, I, mean, I mean, I've made turds bigger than his fingers. But... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hell, some of the turds I, I've cracked has been bigger than Mexicans. I mean, I've cracked some big turds. Oh, man, Ken. <laughs> He's like some Guinness Book of World Record type shit. I tell you what, that one, I wanted to take a picture of it. it I, I just could. That, that's kind of gross to take a picture of your turd. But it, that thing was like 18 inches long. It was like hanging out of the toilet. I had to lift up to get it to come out. It didn't take place in a public bathroom, did it? No, it was an adopted office. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you had to lean up to get it to At come the out. doctor's office? It's like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Were you giving no. a sample? It's like... <laughs> no, this was at home. This is in the comforts of my own home. I'm pooping, so it's in my home. No, he was talking about the here. prostate exam. Did it happen in the public bathroom or at the doctor's office? <laughs> the doctor's office. Yeah. Sure. Oh, my God. Goodness. So yeah, Ken's got some funny stories, guys. <laughs> no, I, they're not stories; they're experiences. <laughs> All right. They're, 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 they're funny experiences in my life, and it's been a blast. It, I know. Okay, I'm you have the right to remain silent. Like Both us dead. Yeah, I'd be uh, I'd be a little uh, leery if Ken sends you any pictures. It might be an old eighteen incher. Yep, uh, poop. <laughs> you looking for a new doctor, and your first question is, "What's your ring size, sir?" <laughs> Legend says the finger is still in his butthole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, if you want to hear any more wild stories, that feeling. <laughs> you want to hear any more wild stories? Make sure to subscribe to Ken. You know, and check. Oh, I got some more. Out. They come out here now. Or, or you know, look, Lecky does a live tomorrow. You know, he needs to get Ken and Benji on there and just do story time. Oh, yeah, yeah Benji's got a story about tonight. shit and falling down a hill that you got to hear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pooping and falling down backwards down a hill with ankles. <laughs> oh, it's a crazy story, dude. It, it's funny. No, After it's... you, you know, borrowed, still borrowed the car. It's yeah, amazing whatever. what people will share with other people once you get comfortable on a live stream. You know, it's like. Yeah, I told myself coming into this, I'm not holding nothing back. I'm letting the world see who I am. No wonder the code is Ghostbusters. <laughs> There's definitely some busters. That was a good one, Isaac. 
Oh, oh, Kid is looking for dwarf doctors. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just got a whole nother realm of shit to think about. It was like, could you imagine some, could you imagine some little midget doctor trying to do your prostate? He's like, can't get in there. I'm sorry, sir. I must use my fist. <laughs> no, no, He's no. fucking working. He's trying to get no. that son bitch in there. I think I got it. <laughs> I had a Jen said she had a rectal with a young male doctor. Had to have two witnesses and two students in a room. It was a party in there. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't honestly that bad until he asked me to back up, and that's where things went south. I, I, I just, I still. I mean, those were his exact <laughs> words. He said, "Would you mind backing up into me a little bit? I cannot." I, I say, "Yes, I do mind a whole fucking bunch." Yeah. I did question him. I was like, "Are you serious? Like, I, really? I really have to push towards you? Like, I, I mean, are, are you serious with me?" Well, yeah. Remember, I you're need to build a stone. There, you know, you. I, you I, know, you I, I think, I think he would have, he would have finished the job if he wouldn't. I think he just did it to mess with you. See if you do it. Right. Well, I did. I mean. I I don't. I, mean, I, I, don't, I, don't I, I couldn't even imagine the fact that having the doctor tell you, "Oh no, you got to push a little harder back on the fellow's finger." No, I'm good. Well, when no, he did it touch that down, no, because no. I guess he did feel it. It kind of hurt. Like I felt it when I, I leaned back. I was like, "Ah, <laughs> hey, what? Come on!" He says, "Okay, I got it." Like, Wait, so it the getting like, penetrated by the banana fingers didn't actually hurt. It was when he hit the stone. Yeah. Like, it was like, okay, it was like a little uncomfortable, you know, it wasn't like terrible, it was like uncomfortable, like a weird feeling, you know, well, not something that I liked, it was I didn't a woman. like She's it all at like, all. you back up a little bit, it's like, are we dating? You know, yeah, exactly, Jessica, you know that doctor went outside and told that other doctor, you owe me $50, I got him to back up on me, yeah. you know you there know, was a bet know. going on, you know there was a bet going on. He was on. four knuckles deep. <laughs> He's I'm, like, I'm going back to that doctor's office, but I'm getting money off that bat. Like, oh yeah, yeah you know bat. there was a bat. It was a backyard. It was. A, I, it, I'm, it was I'm going back there, and yeah, we got to no, help I'm not going back there. Because no, he told you. him, you're you're not even a, you, you're just a you're all just a, you got. I think we to need to that. find the old guy that that disrupted his whole life when he was seven with the butthole. <laughs> I think that's what started all this. I think he's probably dead now because he was probably old. He was really old when I was seven. Like, and I'm 44. You so. dead, Ken. You he don't want to see him dead. Dead. If there's any old guy out there or anyone out you there who's seven. grandfather like back seven. into like a little kid like in a truck stop, like probably in the real story. Is if you got a grandpa that told you a story about shitting on a little kid, he's the little kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that little kid. I would but shit if I get the email saying man. my grandpa told me this story. I like I would just <laughs> right. lose it. It's like right. I seen you on a podcast the other night. It's like that was my, my grandpa. grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> he told me this story about this truck stop bathroom. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't need a picture of his butt to come firm. <laughs> oh, it's too much. He is still on the search for the wiener man, though. Yeah, I mean, because you know that, that my, yeah, but you know he had to been having to shit like nothing else. If you're already backing into the stall with your <laughs> yeah. out, yeah. before you even get in there, you know he was had some business. <laughs> right. like, like, I, for real, yeah, he wasn't like, looking. He, he some was back in business. Yeah, he had like I'm saying that was one where he sat down and it explodes <laughs> out. That was an exploding poop, and it was getting ready to come all over me. I was five seconds away from covered. And like, what is old people eat? Pudding and Jello, houses, <laughs> soup. <laughs> oh no! Bread pudding. That's five well, seconds away. This was a different no, kind of vibe tonight. For sure. I, think, I think some got on you. I think a little bit got on you. I, I I don't remember any getting on me, but I mean, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to believe you on that. It didn't get on you. <laughs> I will well, say, I'm just saying, this I don't remember. The, Maybe I very well blocked that part out, but I the just, weirdest a reptile uh, interview we've ever done. Yeah, I'd have to yeah. say. Thank yeah. you. I I take a compliment to that. Yeah. 
We're gonna have you to get never back on the show again story. so we can actually talk about animals instead of bugs. Yeah, we'll have to have you on again to talk about yeah. animals. Sure. I don't know how that'll go though. Everybody will remember we'll this, this first again. one, so <laughs> <laughs> <You're right. laughs> oh my god. You know, it's like the butthole guy's back. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me that. That's not fair. I was kind of you, you kind of caused that for yourself. I mean I know, the only story you the only stories you told us have buttholes involved in them. So it's like Well, those are the funniest stories, ain't they? Um, yeah, they are. They are the funniest. Yeah. Oh yeah. You ain't had to go to therapy, have you? No. <laughs> no. He probably should have. Yeah, hey, you're right. Nine After five, the old guy when he was little, he probably Some people seen do pay big money to be in that life. situation. So, yeah, I mean, there is people that... You don't want to be sitting on a toilet at the age of seven and watching an 80-year-old guy back into you. Trust me. <laughs> like, you I, don't I, want to be Yeah, the old... Two, two guys, guys, one old. stall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still cracking up because he already had his pants down backing in before he even got in there. Well, you yeah, know, like, he, he, he I don't ready. know how he ended up in that position that quick. He, he had to go, dude. You're, le you're lucky he didn't here, shit on Seven you. years old, dangling my feet, taking a poop. And next thing I know, the door pops open and I see a butt coming back at <laughs> him. And, and you're, you're real lucky he didn't shit all over you because that man had to go if he was into that yeah, situation. He had to have. Yeah, he had to He finish. was like, I he ain't I'm about ready to chase. explode in that door open. Like, he pulled the lock. It was <laughs> locked. Like, it was just one of the ones that you pull over and there's like a mm -hmm. knob that yeah. catches. Like, he pulled that out. Like, was it in the church bathroom at a Catholic church? No, it was in a truck stop and I believe... It was probably you need, to bring either... a, you need to bring you a stick with you so you can lodge it by the door so it don't open when you're in there. It's like on yeah, like the ones they put on the steering wheels, you know, that lock cars. Yeah. You need one for I the I think it was door. in upstate Oklahoma, like right there, like in the northern part of Oklahoma. Oh, now it all makes sense. Oh, by Kansas. <laughs> we was going to Texas, the northern part of Texas, like um, what's it called? Um, Wichita Falls, Texas. We was going to there, and we traveled through Oklahoma. And I know it was right after the turn to go to Kansas City. So the highway to go straight down towards Texas through Oklahoma. I mean, I was seven. I don't remember too much of it. But that, that, that sticks out. I remember a lot about that. Yeah. I bet. I bet. <laughs> oh, well. It traumatized I me. I bet a lot stuck out. <laughs> oh my god, that old man was teach you, teaching you future self how to back up when the doctor asked. <laughs> <laughs> Little did you know that was a lesson. <laughs> that was a life lesson word. Yeah, well, I wish I would have you... remembered that when he told me to back up. Yep. Maybe it wouldn't have felt uncomfortable. <laughs> you would have done it all fast. It, you, you know that too when Dr. to back up kids I'm having still, flashbacks I'm still to that old man. I'm all over questioning that motherfucker <laughs> why he wants me to back up. It don't matter if you, it says out of service 905, you know motherfucker's going to go in there and do it anyway. <laughs> it's always going to be somebody goes in there, fuck it, I got to go. I don't care if it's out of service. I'll oh, yeah. Leave. Like you put a sign on the urinal that says out of order, that's like a target. It's like, yeah. yeah, that motherfucking sign's getting pissed on first thing. It's like, it's not, it, there's no sense in that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fuck, I've come into the, when I worked at the bowling alley, you go in the bathroom, somebody be shitting in the urinal. It's like, what the fuck, really? And yeah. So you must have really had to go. Was the stalls jammed up? You should have just went in the women's bathroom. I ain't sitting on that the was damn just urinal. Some, that is just some little punk being, being stupid. <laughs> and he he was learning them backup skills and shit. Right. Learn how to back up and drop a deuce in ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so he did poop on you. No, he did. He did. Yeah. You know no, he's he learning on a. If that old man no. was going in there with that kind of fucking, with that kind of seriousness, on. he was at already point, shitting. At this point, I would say, yeah, he pooped on me. I would have told the story that he pooped on. 
It, it right. didn't go so far. I was a kid. I knew. I knew. Right. So, hey, Ken, just for being an awesome guest on our, our show tonight, Justin has a sticker he's going to send to you that'll just oh be God. just great for this. Justin, show the sticker you have. What? The oh dance smells God. like poop? Yep. He has a <laughs> poop on. sticker. He has I a do. poop sticker. My daughter always tells me I smell like poop, so she made me stickers. Nice. I've seen them. over there, though. <laughs> I've seen them when, when you had them when you first made them. I was on your live. I've seen them. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was my Christmas present or something, I think. Yeah, yep. yeah, it was the Christmas present or something, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. <laughs> I told her, I said, you should have just put on there that you smell like poop, because then when you give it to somebody, it's different. It's saying dad smells like poop. It's like most people ain't going to know what the hell that means. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Oh, I'm sure my daughters will somehow end up with that sticker. And... <laughs> Thank you, Haley. You have a good night, too. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping out. Later, and later. Listening to all my embarrassing stories. It was good news today. That's probably the well, best news sure. I've had in a couple of days, so or a couple of years. Well, I was gonna say that's got to be a little longer than that. Yeah, yeah. A couple good years. It's the best news I've heard in a couple of years. So, right on. Cancer free. I love it. So you got no more excuses for letting down the community then? <laughs> well, what about what happened to your live last night? Oh. Um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, we don't I was go busy. There, <laughs> I was trying to make a content video. Yahtzee is not busy. <laughs> I mean, we, we didn't play no Yahtzee. She was do, working on some crafty bullshit or something. I don't know. but You know, it's one of those things. Some days you just don't feel it, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Thank I've you been doing that damn same live stream for three goddamn years. It's like, shit, you know, you miss a couple every now and then. Yeah, it's been three years. That I don't know. Probably, it'll probably be after I can move out of here because I'm probably going to keep none here. So, but You I'll, need to I'll, move. Yeah, I'm going to get something I don't know yet. So No, you need to fucking move because we're making snakes right now and I kept that one snake. goddamn pastel female for you for your clown send you one back even though you don't like him, Ken, so stay out of this one. But um, <laughs> I was gonna send I was gonna send you a little mail like the one that you sent me, but with a female back. So then you you're already a year ahead and all that. So Thank you, you Jim. To, um, you need to find somewhere to live so I can send you that shit. I'm tired of taking care of your bullshit. <laughs> you hear me now? I hear you. I have. I've been keeping the same, and it's got a, it's got an A on it too, just so you remember me because my last name and all, you know. Asshole. See, that yeah. was pretty pretty cool. Yeah. But no, yeah. So you need to do something because I'm tired of feeding that bitch. You already owe me like a hundo for rats. <laughs> I know for rats. He's keeping track. You just sell There's one of them killer check. clowns. That'll make up for everything. <laughs> no, that's why I'm sending you one. I know. That makes up for it. And then I'm going to sell the rest. No. <laughs> I'll probably give them away. I always keep them too long. I love the little snakes to make videos because they're small. Right. They're way they're way easier to film. When you got a bunch right. of little ones, you can spit out a lot of videos. Yeah. <laughs> them big snakes, boy, it's hard to keep them in the frame. They get all crazy and shit, man. Yeah, they want to keep moving. Well, and little snakes are new. It's always nice to show new stuff. Right. You know, yeah. like you run yeah. out of stuff to show. What the hell? Goddamn. Oh, oh, the computer went off. I was like, what the hell? Figured, uh oh, I'm going to take the TV down and wire it up again. I, it, it, it does it every now and then. It's weird. I, I still, dude, they, I, they're they getting where they can make shit. It's like, if you got a year warranty, that motherfucker's liable to break like a year and a day. They year got that days. shit down. They got right. that shit down. Just, you, 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 back He's in the fixed day, that you buy TV twice. It's one out. Oh, yeah. He takes it apart, and it's just a wire that comes on solder. He solders it back, and it works. No, it's there's there's twice. the two there, there's two circuit yeah. boards in there, and there's a hard there's one hard connection. There's ribbons everywhere connecting all kinds of shit, but right in between the two circuit boards, there's one hard connection, and it and it always vibrates from anything when the door shuts upstairs, anything, and it's like every now and then it comes off. I just resolder it again; it works fine. They did that on purpose. Oh yeah, I you know they did because I mean, they could have made a clip. Of, 
You know, they could have yeah, made a clip there. There's all kinds of other connections yeah. that connect to those boards, and there's only one hard connection. And I don't know why you would connect two big boards with one little tiny one like that unless you're doing it on purpose. Because you, you know? can't right. make money if a TV lasts for 40 years. You got to make exactly. it last for a couple yeah. of years so you buy yeah. a new one. It's not. I've even told people, it's like, you know, I got a Vizio TV, it blacks out all the time. It's like, hey, do this, this, and this. And it's like, fixed. <laughs> I got a Samsung Curve that's lasting me like four years. I'm impressed. That's right. good. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I mean, it's weird, man. I mean, shit anymore. It's so weird how it's like. <laughs> yeah. If you ain't buying TVs every four years, you're. Yeah. I mean, you, you, could have, you could have like a shop vac for 30 years. And as soon as you buy a new one, you're buying one every year after that. Oh, yeah. It's exactly. like, they don't well, work I disagree with them sweepers. You know? They make them things to break. Even them sharks and Dysons, they're only good for three years. Oh yeah, yep. all that shit, everything. It's only it's only meant to last so long. See, we, what yeah. I do for sweepers up here is like I live near State College. I'll just if I need a new sweeper, I'll go up to State College and look and grab one of the college students, change it out, put a belt on it. I got a sweeper. Last me till next year. Nice. Right. I don't pay for sweepers. Well, I tomorrow you all. Uh, I know tomorrow. At eight o'clock, I think it's eight o'clock. Uh, Lek has got his live stream going on. Yeah, but is he going to start the live stream? Well, he has got it ske- a couple weeks scheduled, and then. So do uh, we need the back? Do we need the backstage entrance, or is he actually going to start the show? Right. Well, he might not start on time like we don't, but I'm sure he, he he'll start it. No, last week he he had people in the stream for hours talking. He never started <laughs> yeah. it. No, no. Well, because they, they had too fun backstage. That's why I said when, it was I, I Saturday mean, night too, and then uh, if, if we're wanting to see the show, we got to we need the backstage pass, right? And then uh, Justin got we got a live stream Friday, and then if y'all are not tuning in Sunday to Wake and Bake with F and A, you're missing out. You all are yeah. missing out, man. They gave away sure. last week. They had their uh, bomb on there. He gave he a one point one. Snake or your or five hundred dollars credit. Yeah, I mean, that was. I heard they're about that. they're that was doing awesome. some stuff over there. It's a great show. You guys need to be. We need to help them hit a thousand. Like now. <laughs> and, uh, hey, well, yeah, I but mean, that's the thing. They just need to keep doing what they're doing. Though. Oh, they're doing they it. They're, they're dropping shorts. They're dropping everything, dude. They're doing. I, it, they it's to hard do. to be patient on YouTube. Everybody wants those numbers right away. But if you get the numbers honestly, they mean more later. Well, let me tell you different. this. Once they hit a thousand, you've never seen a giveaway on a thousand subscribers like theirs. So they're doing a hundred oh, races sure yeah. and there's a hundred prizes. It's crazy. Wow. So if I anybody's got any yeah. kind of stickers, shirts, and you want to donate anything to them, hit them up. Tell them you want to donate something for their giveaway because it's going to be big. I mean, they're 500. When they hit five hundred, they gave away five hundred dollar credit. Yeah, right. So, you know that's big. You know five hundred dollar credit. So we, you know, we hit them there, and it's going to be big. Getting time. Close to having enough hours too. Nice. Oh, they're, they're shit. When they do a live, dude, there's forty, fifty, yeah, sixty people in there for six oh, hours. Yeah. They're you killing know, their hours. So they're they're doing good on their hours. I'm 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 sure. Well, no, it's he says just, he's almost done. They just need they just need the subscribers now. Yeah, exactly. Part, yeah. He's getting close on the hours. Keep dropping in the shorts downside, too. One downside to wake and bake is whenever they're announcing like stuff is, man, I can't ever remember. Like it's wake and bake all day. So like when they're like, oh, at a thousand, like I, you guys just told me this, I probably heard it ten times, completely forgot every time because I'm like just cheap and all day with yeah, them. Really. You know, You're like, right. oh man. <laughs> You end up forgetting the stuff. But they need to announce it at the beginning when nobody's stoned. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Right. No, no, it is. They have good guests on, and you know, I mean, they're doing their thing. It's a good live stream, you know, and they do races. Yeah, they're killing it. It's 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 great time. A lot of people in the The community are fun, though. Right. They're super fun. Yeah, and they thank you for it. Like, I guess you introduced them to the races. Yeah. Yeah, we. Yeah, I mean, because they were doing a, a giveaway, and we, I just turned them on to the what we use. So you know, I mean, got to share with the community, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
I no, it just gives somebody something to do. It you know livens it up when you got the race. Yeah, because you know when you do the yeah. wheel or whatever, it gets kind of boring. It's kind of nice to do something different, like the races or do whatever, because it gets more people interacting in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So I can feel myself like during these races one day because I get if I'm winning like and I'm in the lead or something, I get pumped. Oh yeah, Man, it took me yeah. forever to win a fucking race. I didn't win one forever. It was like, geez, I'm done. I thought I'd never win one, but finally, I shit. We put one. when we did them here, we put our own names in it just so we. I mean, if we won, we rerun it, but just say, hey, we won our. You know, we well, won. Yeah, too, I just wanted know? to be involved yeah. in the race. Yeah, we didn't right? take any prizes. It was just. Well, he I won forty dollars one day because Ball Python Love gave away twenty, and we said, oh, our yeah, rules are: right. if you're entered in the race, you know, if you're giving something away and you win. That race, you got to yeah. you got to double that prize, and we run we run the race. So he put twenty in, and uh, so he fucking ball pies on that one, race. so he won, so he went to forty, and then Justin won. <laughs> Hell yeah, he PayPal'd me that shit right away too. I was like, yeah, oh yeah, keep, keep that PayPal yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, I got third last week. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Yeah, I won first a week before, and I got a second. So I mean, I've done all right. And then I right. won Celtic. Well, I can finish second in Celtics, but I figure on like I feel like I won that because the guy in front of me took the snake that I thought I was going to get, the Phantom Heck Clown, and he left the Spider Pastel Heck Clown Posh Heck D Stripe Posh Heck Hypo there. So I got that, and then they sent me a Phantom Heck Clown female. Just because I didn't get the Phantom, so Celtic, they're they're cool people. Nice, oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, well, she misses our race. Iron Dog's too damn lazy to do them. I try to get him to do them all the time. He's like, no, I don't want to put in the names. I don't want to put in the names. No, you so fucking <laughs> full of shit. We ain't gave nothing away in a long time. I know I got a pile of shit to just send out. <laughs> like, <laughs> I got a fucking whole pile of sticker packs that just need the, the uh, envelopes filled out and all kind of shit. But yeah. Appreciate it, Bry. Well, is anybody going live? If there is, if you know anybody, let me know. We'll send everybody over there or drop their link because well, that's 30 people. One. Somebody better start a live or something. Yeah. All right. I'll jump on. I'm not ready to call tonight yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, if I'll you want to set one up, we'll phone? send him over is there, there anybody, to you, Is there anybody live? I, I don't got the hours to go. Huh? I don't got the hours to go. I got to save what hours I have because I'm on the free stream yard thing. I got you. Oh, I got yeah. two more shows to do. And like, I know when you said save hours, I was like, for what? And I, I thought I forgot about the stream yard thing being 20 yeah. hours. Yeah. I got like Four hours and ten minutes and two shows to run. Is it going over to your week or mine? It's going to my week for the last two weeks. So if you got any hours, I'd run them off. All right. Yeah, we'll go on mine. But I, I got a. There you go. Inkland says he'd start up alive if y'all want to jump on there. Yeah, Yeah, ten people. If you want to go ahead and start that up, John. Yeah, get it uh, started and then come in with the link or somebody bring the link in here. Yeah, and we'll drop as long as you start it and you go live, I can yeah. drop your link and send everybody over Jane, there. Check or, your I mean, hours on your stream yard because, like, if you got like five or six hours, you could save that for the afters, like, party we do after our shows. I know. And, that's why I was like, yeah, we'll let John do it because I've yeah. been using a lot of our hours. Look, there's John's channel right there. So y'all subscribe, man. John, send it to my Instagram, please. Or just, Thank you. Yeah, he's probably just gonna drop it in the uh, drop the stream yard in the. Uh, All right, he could drop it in the chat or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Drop it right in there. Yeah, you just have to watch yeah. who you let in if you drop in the chat. Hey, <laughs> well, sorry, so he knew. Problem. He knew last night. He was like yeah, watching this guy with the wiener. Bam! And like, if it was John channel, what wouldn't happen? I'll say that. Yeah, he appreciate knew. it, Fry. Yep. What's up, Gage? How you doing tonight? Clown Science Gage is in there. How's it going, Gage? Oh, what what up, Gage? We're shifting you over. What, if you haven't experienced going to work with 21st Century Mike, you need to. It's a pretty oh, cool yeah, experience cool. walking through London. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And we that's what we try to do, too, is uh, 
whenever we're done, if there's a live going on, to send everybody over there so it brings traffic to other people's channels too. You know what I mean? So well, right yeah, and it's good. It's good to have the next one going, so then you know people aren't you know because if they can move right over, a lot of them will move. But if they have to wait, then it's like you know they're more likely to go do something else. There you go. Right. There it is. Sweet. Sweet. We're done right here, John. On. I'll be over. All right. Hell yeah. We'll send everybody over there to your channel. Oh uh, yeah. Tell them uh, the Iron Animal Show raid. Yep. And, uh, I appreciate you two coming on, man. That was a good time tonight. Anytime. Hell yeah. Well, Anytime. Some crazy uh, butthole stories. I'm not sure about some of those, but. We, we got yeah, it, I was gonna we say, got I wish it. we had a little more talking about like I'm our sorry, projects guys. and stuff like that. Right, well, but you need to I drop your if you uh, if you start your live right now, John, I can grab your link to your YouTube. Yeah, that's what you want to we want to drop in here. Oh, that was the the link to get into the streamyard. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. You you guys can click doing? that though yeah. and move over to his if you want to go. Right. Thank you, everybody. Let me see. Did it start yet? Yeah. Hey, once it's he been real. It's on been it. fun. Hell, I'd say it's been real fun. <laughs> well, yeah. No, we'll do it again, and, and, and you know, have a, and we do a lot of open chats too. Like if you see there's people on the the panel, and it's not like a guest guest, come on the panel, man. We we do shows right all the on. time where we're we're just bullshitting and you know doing our thing. So, heck yeah. Hey, we heck appreciate yeah. you guys for having us on. For sure. Uh, no there we go. I got yeah. his link. I'll uh, I'll drop it. I was gonna say, you mind if I do a real quick plug or? <laughs> no, you do. Oh, it you yeah. No. All right. Uh, everybody that don't know, follow Ken LMK Reptiles. Me over at Heads and Tails. We got our YouTube show going on Tuesday nights at eight Central, nine Eastern. Uh, we also have Instagrams. Check Ken out. LMK Reptiles. Heads and Tails here. Uh, check out our spread shop. Well, my spread shop. Ken's is coming soon. And then you can check us out on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, all that good stuff. We're out there. Uh, stay posted with us. We're going to be making some clutches hopefully soon in the next month or the next month or two. And hopefully we get some awesome stuff and get to show it with you guys. Appreciate yeah, you guys. started right now. Awesome. Yeah. No, right on. Right on. We'll see you Tuesday. That's for sure. Heck yeah. We appreciate it for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. There's this live stream. You guys hit that link, bounce right over there. And uh, appreciate everybody coming in here tonight. It was Hell it was yeah, fun. I'm going to grab me some dinner. And, uh, yep. uh, I don't know what else to say. We're out, fool. What do you mean you don't see know what to say? Later. Until <laughs> next time, take care and stay wild. We'll see you on the other shows or Friday. Later, everybody. All right, man. Peace. <laughs>